Restaurants are facing an exceedingly difficult period right now, with American consumers being overwhelmed by the cost of basic staples people have considerably less money to visit their favorite food joints this year. And this is severely hurting the bottom line of famous chains like Olive Garden, Waffle House, and even the NFL's official pizza place, Little Caesars. With lower sales volumes and more expensive costs, these and many other major brands are losing millions of dollars in profits and getting closer to bankruptcy court. Conditions will only become tougher as we enter another rocky period for the U.S. economy. So, before your go-to restaurant disappears, we decided to list several chains that are struggling to survive right now. Without further ado, here are 15 big restaurant chains that are in deep, deep trouble. 1. Olive Garden when you think of free breadsticks, unlimited salad, and delicious pasta, one restaurant immediately comes to mind, Olive Garden. Despite being one of the most well-known restaurants in America, the brand is facing its fair share of struggles this year. Parent company Darden Restaurants informed investors and analysts that they will have to lower their expectations as inflation continues to pressure its main customer base. CNBC reported that the company's profits fell nearly $100 million below expectations and that same store sales dropped 8% below target. Raj Venom, the chief financial officer of Darden, explained that because Olive Garden was both an eat-in location and takeout, that was more at risk due to the rising cost of everyday necessities and sales numbers weren't as strong as the company predicted they would be. Catering to middle and upper middle class Americans, the brand has been particularly susceptible to disruptions as these groups cope with higher inflation and slow wage growth in recent years. As it turns out, consumers today are far less willing to spend $20 for an entree when fast casual brands like Chipotle are cheaper and that's a major issue for Olive Garden. In response, the casual dining chain trimmed its menu, pivoted to takeout and is trying to cut costs. But industry experts are questioning whether those measures will be enough to save the company from the overall decline in traffic and the reduction of its main clientele. 2. Five Guys Many cracks are showing up on the foundation of the Five Guys empire. The company is facing major financial losses due to lawsuits that exposed that the company is violating food safety regulations. As reported by CBS News, the chain has been serving hamburgers made with beef containing high levels of antibiotics, according to the Center for Food Safety. Although antibiotics are used to prevent disease in livestock, they can also cause antibiotic resistance in humans. When antibiotics stop working, diseases become harder to treat. Life-saving surgeries, riskier to perform, and a scrape on the knee can even turn deadly. Gina Haloran, Director of Food Policy Initiatives with Consumer Reports, explained. To make things worse in recent years, the brand has found itself saddled with horrific managers who have been arrested for stealing. In one case, a former manager stole more than $27,000 in cash deposits from his restaurant, as reported by Sender Daily Times. A few months ago, another manager in Tennessee disappeared after stealing almost $15,000 from the company. On top of all that, government regulators are closely monitoring the chain, which has also been accused of violating labor laws and not paying taxes. While executives continue to ignore some of the problems the brand is facing and act like everything is normal, these and other events suggest that something is really wrong out of public view. 3. Waffle House Did you know that about 600 Waffle House locations have been closed since 2020? The pandemic brought the breakfast chain to its knees, and up until today, management is struggling to bring Waffle House back on its feet. CEO Walter Emer revealed that sales volumes have dropped dramatically and an acute labor shortage is still causing disruptions in his operations. 
the company's servers only earn $2.92 an hour and rely mainly on tips to have a livable wage, which led thousands of workers to quit in the past couple of years and left recruiters scrambling to find new personnel to fill in vacant positions. Still, the chain is now charging a 20% fee on all to-go orders, claiming that 10% is paid to servers and 10% is a service fee. However, customers don't seem convinced that's the real reason why prices are going up at Waffle House. On social media, many say the company is price gouging its customers while failing to provide financial support to its workers. Under public scrutiny, Waffle House is losing popularity at a time when it desperately needs to boost sales and profits to survive the ongoing downturn. 4. Texas Roadhouse After the founder and CEO of Louisville-based Texas Roadhouse, Kent Taylor sadly passed away due to the debilitating repercussions of COVID-19 in 2021. Things have taken a dramatic turn for the worse at the restaurant chain. CNN reports that the company is struggling to manage rising operational costs, including commodity and labor inflation. The cost of its supplies has risen by about 17% from a year ago, while wages went up 7%. Today, Texas Roadhouse is really far from recapturing its target operating margin of 17% to 18%. Even though traffic rose by 7.6% this year, the cost of additional workers plus higher wages and ongoing beef inflation are eating into the company's restaurant-level margins, which declined for the fifth straight quarter the outlet exposed. 5. Panda Express Panda Express's problems are far worse than people realize. The Chinese fast food chain is in huge trouble due to a series of class action lawsuits filed by its employees and customers who have exposed the company's abusive practices. Staff members revealed that they were required to strip down to their underwear and hug partially clad co-workers during a cult-like ritual at a training seminar sponsored by the company as a prerequisite to promotion. The chain is facing accusations of harassment, hostile work environment, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. We are looking forward to presenting this case to a jury so that a clear message can be sent to Panda Express, which owns and operates over 2,000 restaurants, that it must put an end to its practice of requiring its employees to undergo horrific psychological abuse and harassment to be promoted, Oscar Ramirez, the case's attorney, said. Moreover, Panda Express just settled a multi-million dollar lawsuit that claimed hundreds of thousands of customers paid hidden delivery fees with false and misleading disclosures. The lawsuit showed the company misrepresented the cost of delivery by advertising low-priced deliveries, usually for $2.95, but then tacking on a 10% service charge for delivery for its customers. As a result, Panda Express is expected to take a huge hit on its profit margins this year, and this can put the chain in a particularly vulnerable financial position in 2024 and beyond. 6. Golden Corral In recent years, some of the biggest Golden Corral franchisees have filed for bankruptcy and closed doors for good as sales sharply dropped at restaurants. Ever since the CDC warned the public to avoid self-serve eateries due to health concerns, the chain has faced a series of difficulties in attracting customers back to its locations. Golden Corral has closed nearly half of its restaurants over the past three years, and the demise of two of its main franchisees is further reducing its store count. According to the spokesperson, a franchisee that operated multiple stores went under and sought for Chapter 11 protection due to its huge $49.7 million in unsecured debt. More recently, Platinum Corral, Golden Corral's second largest franchisee, declared bankruptcy, revealing it has permanently shut down half of its locations. The company's CEO announced that about 50 Golden Corral restaurants will be transformed into cafeterias in an attempt to increase sales 
and restore stability to its balance chain, but the chain seems to be too old school for a highly competitive industry where innovation is key for good business. 7. Cracker Barrel Cracker Barrel has been losing thousands of customers in recent years, with complaints over the quality of its productions persistently rising since 2018. According to Best Life, the southern-themed American restaurant chain is reporting disappointing financial results as sales continue to decline while operational costs are getting more expensive. So far in 2023, dozens of locations have been shuttered, and WMTV reported that a couple of months ago, all Cracker Barrel restaurants in Portland, Oregon have gone out of business. A spokesperson said that the company is still coping with the financial repercussions of the pandemic and that at least another 40 locations are also at risk. 8. Taco John's A new report by the US Sun reveals that the popular taco joint Taco John's is being forced to close a number of locations right now as the chain fails to meet its lease obligations. The steep rise in commercial real estate rents has caused Taco John's to operate several stores at a loss over the past 12 months. Now, the company is trying to cut costs and restore its financial health by eliminating all of its underperforming restaurants from its system. In January 2023, there were 400 Taco John's locations across 23 states. Now, only 367 are still operating. 9. Dairy Queen Many ice cream fans across the U.S. will be sad to hear that this beloved restaurant chain is conducting widespread store closings this year due to tensions between franchise operators and management. According to local news reports, the company just shuttered one of the oldest Dairy Queen locations still standing. Located in Merritt Island, Florida, the store had been in business for more than 60 years, and in June, it ceased to exist. Executives are threatening to shutter other stores that are not meeting the necessary requirements to remain in operation, which include expensive renovations, new appliances, and the introduction of several digital devices that will help to track each location's productivity. Franchisees, on the other hand, are dealing with the soaring cost of dairy products as a result of the decline of the nation's cow herd, as well as higher energy, higher labor, higher packaging, and transportation costs. Unfortunately, it seems that the board is not willing to compromise, and those who refuse to comply will be on the chopping block. 10. Little Caesars Pizza Even after becoming the NFL's official pizza joint, Little Caesars Pizza is facing an existential crisis. A new report reveals that for every $5 in sales, franchisees only make 90 cents. And that's making the chain look very unattractive in the eyes of potential investors. In fact, new calculations show that operating a Little Caesars franchise costs $1,023,000, but the chain only generates about $798,000 in yearly sales. That means franchisees are taking up a loss of more than 20% on their investment, and that can rapidly turn operators insolvent and put them at risk of going under. 11. Joe's Crab Shack Since the early 90s, Joe's Crab Shack has been a cozy dining spot for American families. Each themed location was a colorful place for parents to share an enjoyable moment with their children. The chain was famous for serving heaping portions of seafood, but now the brand is rapidly disappearing, with only around 40 locations still open across 16 states. Over the past 12 months, a dozen restaurants were closed due to profitability issues, and a couple more ceased operations after two buildings in Vancouver and San Antonio that used to house Joe's Crab Shacks caught fire this year. Nonetheless, fans hope the restaurant chain survives for another year. Joe's Crab Shack has declared bankruptcy twice in the past 20 years, and its recent challenges may lead it to a similar fate. 12. Denny's A viral video of two customers helping out at a Denny's restaurant speaks volumes about the chain's current problems. In August, Denny's in Texas was so understaffed that only one employee was present. To help out, 
the customers entered the kitchen and started cooking. Although the chain is experiencing understaffing problems that are not uncommon in the restaurant industry right now, its issues seem deeper and more serious than at other chains. Mashed report that about a dozen locations already went dark this year. On top of that, a lawsuit over food safety regulations for stores in Fayetteville, North Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina, West Haven, Connecticut, Portland, Oregon, and Salina, New York, to permanently shut down in the past six months. If this ends with the chain's ultimate closure in 2023, many people will not be surprised. On social media, some people call Denny's Cuisine the worst food on the planet. 13. Fuddruckers The number of Fuddruckers locations in 2023 is so small that people are already speaking about the jade in the past tense. Does anyone else miss Fuddruckers? Asked one person on Reddit. Was Fuddruckers good? Questioned another user just a few months ago. As of August, there were roughly 96 stores left. At the start of the year, the company conducted mass store closings with restaurants in Texas and Central Florida particularly hard hit. Even though the chain also announced plans to expand, restaurant industry analysts don't seem too confident about that growth. They argue that the business model behind Fuddruckers is simply not effective enough to stick around for much longer. In a market flooded with big burger chains, the brand doesn't have an it factor that makes it special enough to stand up in the crowd. It looks like Fuddruckers will join the likes of other disappearing restaurant chains and leave us soon. 14. Friendlies Founded in 1935, some say it's a miracle that Friendlies is still open. The business started as an ice cream shop in Springfield, Massachusetts. A few years after its grand opening, other foods such as burgers and fries were also introduced to the menu. Today, however, prices are much higher than they've ever been, and the restaurant isn't doing well financially. Just two years after filing for bankruptcy due to the pandemic, the chain is now conducting multiple closings, according to Business Insider. If 2023 is the last year for Friendlies, it will certainly be the end of a legacy, and many Americans will miss the chain. 15. Ruby Tuesday Known for its affordable American dishes, Ruby Tuesday is another chain that's likely to disappear soon. Over the past decade, more than 600 locations were closed, and after it filed for bankruptcy in 2021, only 200 restaurants were left open across 11 states. Considering the chain's weak performance in 2023, its future remains uncertain. Over the past year, we've seen more and more individual locations close. This year, several Wisconsin, Connecticut, and Texas locations closed doors for good due to low profits. Experts with restaurant clicks predict that with an economic recession unfolding, bankruptcy proceedings still being solved, and recent closures, it won't be long until Ruby Tuesday is gone for good. These are just a few businesses being affected by the current economic downturn. Many people in the media deny that we're in a recession, but the fact that even some of the most established restaurant chains in the market are fighting to stay afloat tells us otherwise. A flood of bankruptcies is coming, and many beloved chains will go down next. Thank you for watching.